this Monday morning. I'm joined in the studio by uh, DJ Loxy. Yeah, how are you, my dear? Very well, thank you so much. And yeah. also the hitman. Greetings, how do you do? <laughs> Very well. Nice. Now, it's old school, guys. I feel like, you know, old school is in the house. And I feel like music made sense then, don't you? Yeah. Definitely. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just feeling the vibe, yeah? Feeling the vibe, yeah. yeah. So tell vibe. us, um, you have an event that is coming up, DJ Loxy. What yeah. is this event about? I can see the t-shirt says it all. Yeah, it says it all. Loxy Shen Promotions yeah, exactly. is having Zimbabwe Old School DJs Awards 2023. Exactly. Uh, tell us about these awards, please. Yo, yeah, yeah, this is my dream. Okay. Uh, it's a dream come true for me. I've been waiting for this for quite a long time. And also as a DJ, um, like I have my brother here, the Hitman Osias Ngendi, formerly with uh, Radio 3. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is a big show. Yeah, it's a big show. This is the first time to be happening in Zimbabwe. And uh, we want to honor the legendary DJs. Right. This has never happened in Zimbabwe. So I'm happy to be here with you guys so that the world of the nation, the world, who everybody who is watching right yeah. now, you should come uh, and the be with us on the 8th of December at Cresta Oasis Hotel, mm -hmm. starting at 1800 hours. Mm -hmm. We'll be honoring one of the legends here. You'll be honored also. There are, there's Tendai Chekanyuka, the sweet thing. Mm -hmm. There's KC, the gig master. There's going to be Tommy Dutch, the legendary club DJ. Mm -hmm. To those who used to go to Flamingo those days, I think you will remember Tommy Dutch. There's going to be also DJ Soul Train. Mm -hmm. You'll be also here. He's going to be there. That's as part well. of the lineup of the DJs who mm -hmm. are going to be playing for the for the host the guest and everybody who's come to to the to the event yeah, exactly. now the hitman used to yes. play uh for radio three radio three That's yeah right. i used to listen yeah, thank you thank you <laughs> so much. tell us what 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 and i didn't mention there's a there is a difference now what's mm. the difference now between when you were uh doing dj work there and now what's your take on that my take on that i think it, it was we had Passion first, and then you get trained on the job. Like I had to go for a mass com com communication course in Egypt. Wow. But uh, w I started working on Radio 1, which was basically a middle-of-the-road station back then. Then I asked my bosses that I'd be more effective on Radio 3. But I, I got trained from day one from Radio 1, which is a classic music pop station, yeah. reading news and everything. I think we had proper training, and they took our time. It was more about passion and then adding on the skills. Mm -hmm. Then adding on, so so you you are saying right now people are just going. There's no training. There's no in this day and age right now. Well, I may be biased, but I think we could do <laughs> we could do it with a bit more training. Yeah. Because if 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 some girlfriends you're a good DJ, the head gets big. Oh, I'm very famous yeah. now. But their skills there's that no the, skill yeah, that's that. that. And more you skills. are finding I am finding there are lots of people like that uh, in in stuff. So yeah, I mean, what's your take? Oh. The same question. What's your take on how radio used to be and now for you to obviously having, be having this event? I've been discussing this with my brother just now. Okay. Um, the difference now, uh, if, you look, if, if you want to listen to radio right now, you will not take time like what we used to do when we grew up listening to these guys. You listen to, to Yitzman. After Yitzman, there will be Peter Jones. After Peter Jones, they count even Tendai Chikanyu mm -hmm. We used to have the feeling that I'm, I'm listening to radio nowadays. But nowadays, it's totally different. It's totally different, huh? It's totally different. I think it's because of the technology. I don't know. Things because have changed. These, yeah, things have changed. But these guys, these are real DJs. Yeah. <laughs> you, you can call them the presenters. They are real DJs. We want to talk about it. Yeah. But you used to, to love the radio. Mm -hmm. You could have the vibe that I'm listening to a DJ here. But nowadays, uh, they can play only four songs, five songs, just for really? one hour. Wow. So if, the, you, if you were um, going to come across a modern DJ now, uh -huh. what would you say to them? I would just advise them. To, it, it, maybe it all depends with how the things are being run in the studio. Mm -hmm. But uh, when you listen, you listen to it, man, you hear the latest vibes. You talk about the 10 City, you talk about the London Beats. They will talk about those guys. But nowadays, if you play like Winky D, they don't talk much about Winky D. They just play the song only. Mm -hmm. So I don't know which the difference is. I have to Google now to know who Winky D is. Wow. I thought, okay, so with DJ, my question is, yeah. when you are DJing, is yeah. it not just playing music throughout yeah. and less talking? What is, what is that? What is that? I think this is um, the difference in Zimbabwe. I think in other countries, we have talk radio stations and music radio stations. Right. So DJ is music or is it talk? 
music with a little talk, music station. Right. Yeah, music with let's talk. I think Radio 3 had the right template. We would have like James Murray Daddy and with the children. Excellent. So there was, there was time du du during a three hour shift, you have one hour where you can talk and communicate with the audience. And the, the other two hours were basically music. Yes. Right. So basically more hours were spent as a music station and less as a talk station. Mm -hmm. And yeah. your, your take? On, on, on top of that, yeah. you know, let's say it's on it's a Friday. The part starts from the radio. Okay. When you go out, you just know you're just in the mood of enjoying the music. Nowadays, you just listen to music. There's a lot of talking. There's a lot of talk. The, the DJs are not doing the way they are supposed to be doing. I don't know what's going on, but uh, like uh, what Hitman is saying, he's saying things have changed. They mm -hmm. need to be told. Like these guys, they need to be get together with the young presenters of today, mm -hmm. where they mingle and they, they will tell them, you guys, we need to do this, do this, do this, we can go far. And I think, I think look, uh, your, mm -hmm. your event, these awards, is exactly. probably a step in the right direction to your vision exactly. and what you want. So what, what really are we looking forward to at these awards? Um, like uh, for, the, for the guests, uh, let's say for the fans who are coming in, mm -hmm. uh, there's big things coming. Uh, we're going to be honoring, like what I said, we're going to be giving the awards to the DJs. Uh, we have the list of the DJs we are going to honor. There are, not, there are a lot of them, but we have managed to pick one or two yeah. for the DJs that we are going. And some of them, they are no longer with us. The likes of Peter Jones is late. Mm. The likes of Dara Hilton Mambo then is late. Awesome. So, so mm. there are a lot of those guys. Saga, we, 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 we're trying to get in touch with the families right now. Or some of the families we are already in chat with them so that they bring bringing someone who can get the, the award for, for those late guys. Okay. But for the guys who are there, they are going to be honored. Uh, then for the fans, the DJs who are on the decks, they really know their <laughs> DJs. They really know how Hitman does it when he's yeah. on the decks. He can rock. They know Tendai Chakanuka, when he, she's on the decks, she can rock. Yeah. So that's how what is going to be. It's going to be a party night. It's going to be a party night. Till hey. late from 1800 hours. And uh, the tickets are selling right now at Crestar Reception, Oasis, here in the capital city of the beautiful nation of Zimbabwe. Mm -hmm. Zimbabwe. Uh, the tickets are running. The where, else, where else are you having uh, ticket sales? Just by the uh, Crestar Oasis? They can even call me, okay. uh, DJ Loxy, on 0786-481-478. Okay. They can get all of me. Or they can even talk to all the DJs who are there on the flyer, it's rotating, it's on the social medias, and we are he also here. What's they your social media handle? My social media handle is uh, on the Facebook. They can use Locks Logistics. They okay. can get all of me on there. Then uh, on Twitter, they can even use the, the Crystal or they can even also use the Locks Logistics. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they can get all of me on there. Oh, that's fantastic. Yeah. Are you looking forward to getting on it? And are you going to give him lots of money? Oh, definitely. <laughs> definitely. He's a legend. You are a legend. He's yeah. a legend. DJ's like... A DJ fresh in South Africa. Yeah. They said they used to listen to Radio 3 to people like uh, myself, Tish Mataz, yeah. and the late PJ. Mm -hmm. And if you look at their lives during ours, we feel that we're not appreciated right. uh, by right. our own people. Right. In, like we have done nothing. You just like, you know, former champion, patch drunk boxer, you have done nothing for your country. You are nothing today. So, so it's nice to feel appreciated. Really just look at him. Yeah. He, it's very he's, good. He's, not, he's not driving even a vehicle. Mm. This is a celebrism. Look at all those celebs, uh, the former radio DJs in South Africa. Our neighbors, we don't talk about international, but just local here. So these, these are some of the initiatives, obviously, that you will be bringing up at these awards. Yeah, it, just for recognition. It's very important. Well, I, mean, you I did, appreciate that. Growing up, I used to listen to you, so, thank you, thank you. <laughs> so that we, was absolutely and fantastic. On top of that, we need um, some corporate functioning companies to come in so that they can help even these guys. Even if you drive a small car, it's okay. I need these guys to be recognized. That's yeah. why, that's my dream for the legend DJs. Yeah. 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 No, that's very good. Look, it's, it's a fantastic thing that you are doing. Exactly. So coming back to you, uh, the hitmen, <clears throat> mentorship is something that's very important also in uh, kind of growing DJs from your, your era. Yes. We're gonna retire. But yes. then we're going to need the baton to keep going. Yes, yes. What have you done in terms of mentorship? Well, I did it while I was on the job. Okay. Uh, for example, uh, a lot of people that, that, that I can't mention, but I think those who are still there need, need, to, need to take on board youngsters, male yeah. and female, and, and mentor them. 
Yeah, which is something that I think and I believe is, is absolutely great. Are you mentoring uh, any DJs or upcoming, giving them nuggets and, you know, how to, to, you know, kind of not lose the essence of what it was called data, but obviously because of moving in with the eras, the different times, mm -hmm. what have you done in that phase? Uh, already, uh, I have my, the, 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 in fact, the young guys where I stay. Right. They come, I mentor them. To be a DJ, you need discipline. Mm -hmm. One, that's the first thing. But the DJs are recognized like people who are who doesn't do all the proper things most of the time. Yeah. Was the, when we go to clubs and play, it's different to be on radio. Mm -hmm. If you are a radio presenter, a DJ there, they take you differently with a club DJ. You right. get what I mean? I can't let my kids to go to a club at night. Right. So there's a difference. Sorry, Loxie, yeah. I'm going to cut you short yeah, because yeah. we're just going to finish. But okay. just tell us quickly when this event is again, 8th of December. 8th of December. Cresta Oasis here in Arari. Here in Arari. And Starting. tickets are being sold at Cresta Oasis. Exactly. I'm really looking forward to this event, and it's so wonderful to have you on the show on Morning Rush with us. And you know what? You guys have done a great job. Thank you so much. Thank you. Looking forward. Much. You also must come there. Yes. Yeah, no, definitely, definitely will. Yeah.